The State Russian Museum in St. Petersburg is the world's greatest museum of Russian art. It was established by the Emperor Nicholas II in 1895 and solemnly opened to the public on March 19, 1898. Up to 1917 the museum was called the Russian Museum of the Emperor Alexander III. Alexander III, the father of Nicholas II, was a passionate collector like Catherine the Great. His palace in Gatchina was a real treasury. Acquired masterpieces, pictures, carpets, sculptures, did not fit in the galleries of the Winter Palace, the Anishkov Palace and other mansions. After his father's death, Nicholas II transferred the collection to the Russian Museum in memory of Alexander III. Initially museum was located in the halls of Mihailovsky Palace. It included around 1880 works of art, sculptures, old Russian masterpieces moved from the State Hermitage Museum, Arts Academy and Emperor's Palaces. Mihailovsky Palace, is the building of the empire style that was initially planned by the Emperor Pavel I. However, he was not able to see the result of his ideas, as Pavel was murdered as a result of a conspiracy. Despite that, the Emperor Alexander I ordered to build a palace. Carlo Rossi designed the Mihailovsky Palace and the front square, as well as two streets, in Zeranaya and Mikhailovskaya. The building was ceremonially laid on July 14, 1819 and the actual construction started on July 26. The nearby garden, also called Mihailovsky, was arranged from the side of Marsovo Field. On September 11, 1825 the palace was sanctified. Nowadays, apart from Mihailovsky Palace, Russian Museum includes Summer Palace of Peter the Great, Marble Palace, St. Michael's Castle, Stroganov Palace, Peter's Cabin. The museum area is expanded by Mikhail Vosky and Summer Gardens. Its total area is more than 30 hectares. The collection includes over 400,000 exponents and covers all historical period and tendencies of Russian art within over 1,000 years, from the 10th to the 21st centuries. The greatest part of the collection is situated in the former residence of Mikhail Petrovich, Mihailovsky Palace. On the first floor you will see the exposition of Russian folk art, 17th-21st centuries, a great collection of paintings and sculptures of the 19th century. There are also wood carving works, ceramics, weaving. The second floor is filled with the art collection of the 18th century and some exponents of the 19th century. There is also a two-story Benoy wing where you can mostly explore temporary museum expositions and see the works of modern painters and sculptors. Museum's collection possesses wonderful ancient icons including those done by Rublev, Ushakov, and Dionysius. It is hard to call a name of a Russian artist, whose creations are not found in the Russian Museum. 15,000 paintings are the best masterpieces of Russian masters over 800 years. Nowadays the Russian Museum is a large museum complex. Then museum included three more palaces that have a significant historical and cultural past. The State Russian Museum has four buildings, Stroganov Palace, Marble Palace, Mihailovsky Palace and Mihailovsky Castle. All these palaces are located in different parts of St. Petersburg, but all united by one name Russian Museum. In the Russian Museum of Art in St. Petersburg you can see magnificent paintings by K. Bryulov, A. E. Ivanov, I. I. Vazovsky. The museum's collection includes about 407,000 exhibits and covers all historical periods and trends in the development of Russian art, the main types and genres, trends and schools for more than 1,000 years. The exhibits include paintings, sculptures, icons, watercolors, prints and drawings, 